Hey everyone, Scott from Concentric here with a demo of the Semantic Intelligence solution. Semantic Intelligence was designed to help you discover, categorize, and risk assess the unstructured data you have in your environment. And of course, unstructured data are all the millions of files that your end users create and manage on a daily basis. The things like documents and spreadsheets, financial reports, sales documents, that can contain really sensitive business critical information, but can also be really hard to find and calibrate and assess for risk. Now we've tackled this problem using deep learning and what deep learning does is it goes through scans your files without you needing to provide regular expressions or rules and without you needing to ask your end users to perform some classifications on their files. We scan the files and we come up with over 90 different thematic categories that give you a really clear picture of exactly the types of unstructured data you have in your environment. So let's have a look at the UI and you can see what's going on. We have 507 files we have uh, scanned in this particular demo database. We've organized uh, or shown you here with these ring diagrams uh, how that data looks by risk, how it looks by category, and by PII type. As you scroll down, there's a number of other different ways you can interact with the data, including some tiles to quickly get to specific types of risk and some bar charts that let you explore the data by category, file type, location, or a variety of other ways. Now, uh, one of the really cool things about the UI is pretty much everything that you see is clickable and helps you essentially drill down uh, into the data to get a real clear picture of what's going on. So we're going to do just that. I'm going to click here on the legal uh, document category and we're going to go down and have a look at what, uh, what we see in terms of what we have for legal documents. Now, what's popped up here is uh, the subcategories that we have under legal and as I mentioned before we've gotten over 90 different categories that you're going to see uh, through all these different uh, aspects and views ranging here for legal from collaboration agreements to NDAs to M&A documents we're going to have a look at these collaboration agreements and see what's going on and as you can see there are 66 files that are in that particular subcategory and for the moment here, I'm going to switch really quickly over to a different way to explore the data. You can use either one and move back and forth between the two. This is called the file, uh, I'm sorry, this is called the uh, filter builder. And it gives us an opportunity here to uh, get very specific about the types of files we want to see. So in this case, I want to have a look at the high risk files. Uh, legal and collaboration agreements are already checked from what we explored before. And we're going to look for files that have an external mismatch problem. All right. And so here's one file. There's only one in this particular data set. Let's have a look at what that file has on it and why we've spotted that and flagged it as a risk. So as you can see here, it's been shared externally with anand101b at gmail.com. If I click on Anand's name, what you can see here is the system's telling me that the reason it's identified as a risk is that similar files haven't been shared in the same way. Now we call this risk distance technology. And what it does is it leverages the wisdom we get by looking at the specific files or all the collection of files in a particular category and uh, just essentially looking at how those have been managed and handled in a, from a security perspective. And uh, any files that are outliers, in other words, have not been handled in ways uh, similar to its peers, uh, we assess as being at risk. And that's what's happened here to flag this particular alliance agreement as something we, agreement that we, uh, we really need to look at it from a risk perspective. All right, so that's it for the demo. Hope you've uh, enjoyed it. If you have some other use cases you're interested in exploring, check out the website. We've got a few videos there that you might find interesting. And again, thank you for your time today.